Hello, this is Grant, and I'm joined today with Andrew. Hi, I, uh, I'm, I'm a virgin to RuneScape. As he said, Andrew has never played RuneScape before, so I thought it'd be fun to drop him in Lumbridge, as you can see here, with just 25 gold, and I'm going to give him a task. He's never played it, never watched it. He cannot consult a wiki, use the bank, or go too far from this area. Well, as, so, as you told me, I could use the bank if I could figure out your pin. Yes, you can, u you can use the bank if you can figure out my pin, but I, I doubt you. I'm not even going to I, I would edit that part out anyway, because I don't want people knowing my pin. <laughs> okay. So, okay. Your task is you have to make a cake. So you can go ahead and get started. Are there many types of cakes? Or... Well, you have to make the cake first. Okay. There is, but it's like you make the cake, and then you put chocolate on the cake to make a chocolate cake. Okay. So you can do that if you can find chocolate. But... Yeah. If I get chocolate, if I'm making chocolate cake, do I get anything bonus for that? Okay. Yes. Okay. But uh, yeah, never played before, uh, so I... <laughs> you'd already asked me, like, how do I move? Uh, so well, we went I think over I that. figured that out. <laughs> uh, okay. But yeah, I'll tell you if you're going too far, and you actually have a teleport you can right. use to get back to that location, because that's where when people complete the tutorial and spawn into the world or die, that's where they go. Examine. What is examining? It pops over in the bottom left. Okay. You'll probably want to hit, hit, if you hit game, it's going to filter it just down to your game messages. There you go. I wonder what these are. They're flowers. I mean... <laughs> One thing that's really interesting about RuneScape is anything that you can click on has an examine text. So wow. you can't examine literally everything, but basically okay. anything you can examine. I can chop it down. Yeah, but you have to look at your message. You do not have an axe with, okay. with which you have the woodcutting level to use. I mean, you, you only have 25 gold. That was a big point about, like, what... I didn't know what I wanted to give you from the outset. I thought about giving you the items they give you for Tutorial Island, but I thought that might be... That might take away the fun. What's the... <laughs> so, these are called splashers. What they're doing is... In RuneScape, there's something very important to combat called the Combat Triangle, where it's essentially magic is good against enemies in armor, and okay. if you wear armor, it hurts your magic damage. Okay. Archery is good against mages, and archery... Yeah. Because they're not wearing armor. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I already lost track, but uh, yeah, it's a triangle with art ranging, magic, and melee. Point being, is what they're doing is they're wearing full like sets of armor, which make... You have a huge penalty to actually hitting your magic. So what they're doing is, this way, they can cast on those level 1 rats all day without killing it, but they get magic XP. So every time they cast that, they get a little bit of magic XP, but they don't need to actually like be at their computers. They fix it. You used to be able to do it like 6 hours straight, but now I think it's 20 minutes is the max. You have to interact with the game. But that's essentially what they're doing. Is there's, it's a nice, easy AFK way to train your magic. Because since they're all, again, they're also wearing full iron armor, that rat's never going to hit them. That being said, I don't think it's possible for a rat to actually Wait, hit that? you. Where is the rat? What rat? Let's see if I can attack something. There it is. Attack it. It's uh, killed it. Oh. <laughs> nice. Got him. First kill. I should also uh, clarify, I'm this is not the main client. This is called OS Buddy. So it's a it plays the game with a couple other features. One of the one of which being is every time you do an action that gives you XP, it ha it's a little pop up. Am I stealing? Like no. This is, okay. You can actually thieve though. What? If you just see, uh, I think the only thing you can thieve in this area is your generic man. You can p pick their pockets for some more gold. Talk to like so these people are NPCs. Yes, yellow is NPC. Okay. Otherwise, like if you take chug. This is just so like fun to see this, but. Uh, what were we talking about earlier? You were asking about scams, because yes, yeah, Andrew was asking about like w botting and because I said it was bad and like buying and selling gold. There's a lot of dumb scams and there's a lot of interesting scams in this game. I think my favorite one, especially, was more popular when I was a kid. Is people would be like, they would type like five asterisks and like, look, J Jigex, the company that makes RuneScape, automatically censors your password. And then oh. they would hope like some dumb kid be like, really, I want to try that. And then they would type their password. And this was, I think that was before like they had pins on banks and stuff. Because your bank holds most of your wealth. So if you have a pin, even if they get into your account, they're not going to sell off the majority of your stuff. So he's actually, uh, as part of a quest. I was, I was going to say, like, 
What is he talking about? Seriously, you he has, I can't believe I nearly got all the people to be killed. The, what the fuck happened there? That was called a quest called Recipe for Disaster. So uh, oh. the first quest ever in RuneScape is given by him, and that's the inspiration for this episode. He asked you to go get the ingredients for a cake. Now, I can't reset the quest, and I didn't want to give you, like, a new account just because I felt like I don't want you to, like, die if you wander too far. You can die. That's fine, but you're not going to, like, mess up as hard is my point. Okay. So it does – obviously, you can't talk to the NBCs. Like, they're not going to give you directions. Usually, I thought he was a little bit more helpful, but now I think he just does the quest dialogue. Okay. <laughs> He's wondering why you're just staring at that door. But yeah, there's a lot of other other interesting scams. The majority of them, anytime a player asks you to drop your items for whatever reason, it's always almost always a scam. Because they'll do stuff like, oh, well, I don't know. I, I can't trade or I don't want to trade. So instead, drop your items and then I'll drop my items. And then they have some exploit where, like, they stop you from, like, yeah, getting... Stuff. Yeah. Well, they never drop it. I'm saying, like, you. Dro they drop you, like, say... You drop your items, and then you wouldn't. You don't know that whatever area you're in has the ability to teleport you away without your warning, without okay. a warning you or something. So you drop it. They trigger that event. You teleport away, and then oh well, now your your items are just there. Why does it attack man level two? He's level two. That's one of the features of OS Buddies. It tells you it's level. You also, if you look on the very top left of the screen, yeah, it tells you your potential action and if there's more options. If you right click him, okay, you can get more options. You can talk to pickpocket. Kill. Don't feel bad about killing it. It's like they just respawn. It's not like... It's really hard to, for you to do anything that's going to actually like, screw you over. Or man, I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, man. Can I, I just almost want to watch... Just sit here and watch you. So... It's going to be interesting. I'll tell you if you go too far, but you will have to explore a little bit. In theory, you could, if you really want to, you can beg someone just to go get the items for you or buy it. But it's not in the spirit, so you'll have to find where to get the items. Okay. You didn't give me shit. <laughs> Fuck you don't me. have to keep clicking. Uh, okay. I remember as a kid, you have in this game something called a combat stance. That's going in the cake. <laughs> you have a combat stance. That determines if you get like defensive XP, attack XP, or strength XP. And it's like you can be accurate, you can do more damage, or you can take less damage. And I thought you had to like click. When I, I remember back when I very first started, I was fighting the rats outside the castle. I would like click every time I attacked because I didn't understand how the combat like worked in this game. But no, you just like click on them and they fight. So <laughs> it's pretty pretty straightforward. If you ever get like super into PvP, there's a ton of like really cool tricks to make it more of like a Twitch game. Because what's interesting is. This game isn't real time, so to speak. It runs off something called ticks. I believe it's four ticks a second, and that's when the game updates. So you can do the cool things with like PvP, where you try and like cram as many actions as one as you can in one tick, and those are considered to be like simultaneous. So like you can take a hit that kills you, but if you eat on that same hit, you'll like die, heal up, before the game registers like, oh, you need to be teleported away, you're dead. Uh oh. It's kind of, an, it's an interesting little mechanic. <laughs> These NPCs won't be able to help you too much with your cake quest. I was hoping the cook would be a little, little bit better, but sadly, no. I think if before they had Recipe for Disaster, or if you do it in the free-to-play worlds, which you can't do that quest in, I thought there was, you could just ask him questions. So. It's interesting though, like seeing you do like this, like there's all these like small items. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't know that there's a bronze dagger spawn there, you know? It does probably help for you is uh, in the main game, you don't get those like white text pop-ups when there's items on the ground. You don't. You don't. You do uh, on your mini map, they appear as red dots. But you just kind of have to know and see them otherwise. That's a quest item. Okay. Yeah. I said, like, what, is, what does that mean? You, uh, he's part of a kind of a cult, I guess. Not to go into the long discussion about ham. He's, you mean he's in a cult? Yeah. I don't think the guy's there anymore because I did the quest. But you search that chest and you find the robes. And then you go talk to the duke. And he's like, 
My god, Siegfried, or whatever his name is. You're in a cult. They're in a cult that hates Lime. monsters, I think. Anything that's non-human. It's humans against monsters. That's it. And they're the ham group. And they huh. have a little... They have a ham. It's kind of funny. This is the bank. What level are you? So, you'll have to figure that out. So, you have what's called a combat level, which is a dynamic equation. 99, okay. Yes, but that determines it's off your highest combat stat, and then there's equation. Because it's like... It doesn't if you you could be all level one like attack strength defense, but you could have max level magic. But you don't want to factor that in directly because, like, it may just because you have like twenty like archery, and it doesn't that doesn't mean you're any stronger if you're fighting with a sword. So you don't want that factored in to be so that you appear stronger. Oh, there you go. We're making some progress. These are your skill guides. They tell you what level you need to be to do certain things, as well okay. as ingredients. You have any questions so far? No. Uh, you're just exploring the world. I was questions that I don't think you would. You're supposed to tell me. Yeah. Uh, okay. So the skills. Those are prayers, and you need prayer points, which you recharge and alter. Okay. I have zero right now, but those like you turn them on and off, and they toggle, and they slowly drain your points okay and they are like buffs like five percent more damage or you're immune to range damage for a duration oh <laughs> that's your friends list and your ignore list clan chat settings uh emotes <laughs> and music okay well that's not important let's talk about this that's okay. equipment you don't have anything equipped I will equip. You can. You can also just click on those in your inventory. Boom. Okay. Uh, bronze dagger. I don't have any robes or anything, I don't think. No. This looks like a shield. Those are runes. Those are used for magic. Okay. They're like the consumable item. And they come in all, all different types. Mind runes are used for low level elemental spells. Oh, get, and just getting a little undressed here. So, yeah. To okay. make some progress, one of the skills in that skill area, that tab, is cooking. So you, that's a good place to get started on that's making fine. a cake. Yes. See if you can guess which one's cooking. That's farming. Fire making. You're like so close. There, there you go. <laughs> you like kept going over it. It's like ah. <laughs> so I guess it's a pot with what's that sticking out of it? I think that's supposed to be rice or steam. It's, just like, it's kind of like bones. I'm pretty sure it's steam. But yeah, now that you mention it, it does. Bank boots. So I assume this is where you would have to put in a... Yes. Yeah, there you go. That's you can awesome. just click away or exit. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, click on cooking, and that'll get us somewhere. Wait a second. I need wood. <laughs> you get an axe, you can go chop it. I don't have an axe. <laughs> if I can get it here... I mean, why not? Yeah. That's down a floor. What's down a floor? That area you were clicking on. Oh, I was just down yeah. there. Okay. No wonder why. It, wait, wait, what? It's weird. Like, it's been so long since I've, like, gone through and, like, explored like this. Okay. Which is something I kind of mean to do. Like, when I originally got back into Fine. playing because I wanted to do the quest. Like, I was... I think I got three months as a member, as a kid. But I, I didn't know how to use a wiki. And figure shit out. So like, basically all that time was wasted, not doing anything important. So I really wanted to come back in and do at least all the quests, which I actually do. You get a nice cape when you complete all the quests. Uh, they just buffed actually. Nice. So that was what I wanted to go in. Go in, read all, read all the dialogue, have fun. I enjoyed the quests. Some of them sucked. A lot of them were really good. But yeah, that's kind of what I got out of it. So these will generally tell you like ingredients. They're not that helpful. Like <laughs> they're not gonna tell you how to do a lot of things, but cooking's pretty nice. <sighs> okay, so chocolate, need flour, eggs, and milk. And a cake tin. Right. Okay. I don't think you can Straight get chocolate. I don't think you can get chocolate here. There's a bank 
in the trap door in the kitchen, you can't go down there. Because that will that'll just lead you out. And there's a shop there that has everything you need. And that would obviously ruin the point. If you just had a shop that... It's like literally like a cooking shop. Because, oh, I know I saw it earlier is... The very first quest they ever released was the Call of Cook's Assistant, where you make it, you get all the ingredients for a cake, <clears throat> which is what was inspiration. And what he was talking about was the sequel, Recipe for Disaster, which was the hundredth quest. And they went through and they brought in like NPCs from so many other different places and whatnot, and it's just like tie everything in. It was really kind of cool. Lumbridge, which is the, this is the town you're in right now, is one of my favorite spots because it's so like busy. Like, players are always here, either dying, or you get a free teleport here, or new players, what have you. There's a ton of resources, all kind of right where you need them. Like, in other places, it's unlikely that you'll have, like, everything can make a cake in one spot. Mm. Like, a big thing is to... That's interesting. I wonder if someone dropped that, or... I guess that's just there, for some reason. I'm sure this might come in handy. <laughs> Maybe. But yeah, Why are there so many boxes with nothing in them? It's just scenery. And a lot of places you can search them and get like leather items like boots and gloves. But yeah, most part no. No XP waste. So yeah, yeah I really like this area. It's like always busy. You there's a ton of activity. A lot of the a lot of the quests in the game kind of go through here. Like there was one of the statues is missing. Like you steal that in a quest. Or just recently, like a while ago, there's an NPC that follows you as part of a quest, and someone walked by, walked by with it. It's kind of cool. Like, there's a lot of other places in the game that are just kind of like dead because no one goes there. I'm pretty sure if I had a pickaxe, I could chop down a tree. <laughs> What's interesting is, I do, oh wait, I might have to equip that though. No, you don't need to actually, but uh, you can. It's probably better than your bronze dagger. You can just do it from your inventory. Just right here. Yeah, if you just click the item. How do you compare? You open up the combat screen that you were. I don't know, your equipment screen, I should say. One more to the right. The man on the what? bottom. Oh, sorry. And then the bottom left button is, it'll show you all your stats, your bonuses and your defenses, stuff like that. So this pickaxe gives you plus four to stab. Slash is minus two, crush is plus two. I would et cetera, et cetera. slash would be higher because that's that's how you stab with the pickaxe. I know, but it's like a different form of damage. Usually, you don't have to worry too much about that unless you're like trying to like really focus on getting like optimal um, kills and whatnot. Actually, I think the dagger's better. Might be pickaxe. It really isn't a weapon. It is used for mining. Okay, so yeah, the you can use it, but definitely better. Okay, let's let's stick with that shit. <laughs> no, that way. You need it to kill all those rats and men. Okay. <laughs> okay. So yeah, this is a cool area. I think Lumbridge out of any place shows just how several updates over time just get like layered into it, and that's what makes this area so interesting. Versus the areas that were like designed to be the way they are. Lumbridge is just kind of like a hodgepodge of history and this interesting things. Let's do that. Let's see what happens. They'll give you your prayer back, so you can use prayer. Which is over here? Yes. Yes. If you hover over, it'll tell you what they do. But I imagine you can kill anything in this area. So prayers don't have anything to do with that at all? What? So, so prayers are going to be essentially useless for our. Oh, yeah, for you skills. right now. I think we'll do some. We'll do combat at one point. I think where I'll give you a task as you get more familiar with the game. Like you need to go, figure out like, a good set of items, get a full set of armor, go kill a scorpion or something. <laughs> okay, thanks. That was useful. They're really they're really cheeky. They break the fourth wall a lot. Maybe, maybe not breaking the fourth wall, but they definitely, like, reference things. There is one bartender, I think, in Varrock. He breaks the fourth wall. He's like, it's all a lie. We're in a game. It's called RuneScape. Oh. <laughs> and your character's like, oh, yeah, buddy. Whatever. Yeah. 
How's that cake coming? It's going swimmingly. I have an, a dagger or a, and an iron knife. That's I mean, for when I'm actually done with it, I will uh, have excellent means to uh, to cut the cake. Cut the cake. You actually don't need it. You just kind of like bite into it, and it comes out in an even third. Okay, let's. How about this? There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Give oh. me your sh I thought you were going to say, like, I'm just going to ask this pan. man. Oh, wait, no, I, I stabbed you. I'm sorry. That would make for a better story. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever seen Tucker and Dale vs. Evil? I have not. Because that would be like, so there's like <laughs> nothing. If anything, go watch it yourself. Okay. Um, wait, Frog's Bolt? What? Want them. Yeah. You haven't. You might want to note that you have a set number of inventory slots. You have 28. Okay. So, I mean, what you can is, drop it. What is that? That is an herb. It's used in potion making. They're all called grimy, and you have to clean them if you have high enough skill before you can use them in a potion. Okay. It's a grimy taromin, I think. So, if I use it, what happens? Try it. Do I eat it? No. Use it doesn't. You, use it means you can interact with different things. So, like, if you click use, you can then use it on something else. So, like, you can use the bones on the pickaxe. Like, it won't do anything. But, like, that that's important because that's how you're going to have to make the cake. Is you'll use one ingredient on the other. Okay. Use on pickaxe. Yes, yeah, nothing happens. This is, what is that? This is a joke, right? Yes. So I won't probably need that yet. Okay. Surprisingly, we are actually like getting somewhere. Although I do feel like if I just like, maybe I should just do a series where I just like literally drop you anywhere, and it's just like you can just explore. This sounds promising. This is one of the reasons why I wanted to make sure not to give you too much money in case, like, there was a cake. Okay, okay. how much is a. It costs 15 coins. I could. That's. I want that. Buy one. Boom. All right, progress. Getting close. Those are things play, other players sold to this shop. The top row is, like, always stocked. Security book. Yeah, it just gives you tips. On how uh, not to get hacked. Oh. Why? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's just to make it available when they released it. I assume I'll need the jug for when I find milk. Actually, no. You need a bucket. I'll just tell you that now. <laughs> and I don't have... But you can get one from the store. I can get one from the store. Where is it? There he is. Nope. Oh, there we go. You can also right-click him. Okay. You just right-click the dude, and you can hit trade, and you can skip the dialogue. Bucket. Sorry, bucket. The game is very picky. Like, even though, like, you would think you could also put milk into a jug, you can't. Okay. So, and I'm sure that's just, like to save the devs time. They don't want to have to make like every every container that could conceivably hold a liquid. They don't want to make animations and visuals for every possible combination because it just grows so like quickly. Ah. Uh. Guys, coins. Nice. Shopkeeper. There's two shopkeepers? Yeah well, yeah, well, one's his assistant. Do they have the same items? Yes. Okay. okay let's, let's see. It's definitely interesting. Like, as a kid, shops were a big deal. Now, with the, with the advent of the Grand Exchange, it's a lot easier to sell it to other people than it is to the shops, because the shops usually stiff you, and they act as price control. Like, if you were a dev and you wanted something to sell for more money on the GE, well, then you can say, well, we'll raise what the in-game store pays for it, and then as a result, it would go up on the GE, because why would you sell it to players if you can just sell them all to the shop? So this is a furnace. You can use raw materials on it okay. in order to smelt them into bars. Makes sense. Pretty... Since, yeah, since Lumage is a yeah. tutorial area, essentially, they do have a lot of stuff all kind of together here. So that's why you see, like, oh, they have a furnace here and an altar and a shop. 
you would rare it'd be pretty rare that those would all be so nice and close to each other. Oh, bones like stuff like bones don't stack. Like there's no stacks. No, because there are stacks like with your money in the runes. Bones don't stack because bones are how you level your prayer. You can click on a bone and you bury it and you get a little bit of prayer XP. Body. Okay, I probably don't like okay. Sure, bury. There you go. And, and what? <laughs> okay. Very. Boom. Nice. It's that optimum inventory management. Boom. Go. I wonder if anyone's going to comment like, oh, you're playing RuneScape, you're not getting those XP gains. It's like, boom. There's a big like methodology I think that's really big now compared to like when I was a kid. I'm making myself an Indian burial ground. <laughs> a goblin burial ground. Yeah. I guess it's actually killed a bunch of men. Well, and goblins. I've probably killed as many goblins now. As True. Killed, men. killed a rat. But oh, yeah, I don't think they there's a bones. concept in this game called no XP loss. And I think it's it comes from the fact that the game is so long and grindy a lot of the times. So players will focus on getting like the best XP rates they can. Because then you shorten the grind. But a lot of people like take what it pretty this? far. You can right click and examine it. It's, yeah, I mean, yeah. sock? What? Full, it's sack. sack. So we're playing this on a giant TV. Usually it's a lot easier to read. Because technically the game is only played on, like, a window about half the size of your screen in width. And it was only, I think, recently where they added a the scale feature, which lets you go, like, full screen stuff. Before then, you always had to play on that tiny little visual So, do you remember what you need for a cake? Yes, I do. I probably need a bag, don't I? You want here, or you want to go back? There's a... What? Go back to that sack. Which sack? The, well, the one in that, in that fence. Okay. This is my bad, but uh, like I said, you don't normally have text over items. Okay, you, you know what? You... I don't know what you want. You, you hit him, so he's fighting oh. you now. I didn't realize that you hit him. So, like I said, in the main game, you don't have text over items. In OS Buddy, they have the feature for you to do that. Boom. But you know those things like bones don't have text, and that's because you can Boom. selectively turn the labels off for certain things. Like, I get bones all the time. I don't need to know it. And an egg, like if you press control, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you press control, it's going to show you everything on the ground. And I oh, want to make sure you probably oh, want to oh, notice okay. the egg. Yeah. Maybe. So that was just okay. a heads up. Nice. Because a lot of things, like, I never use egg, so I don't care if anything drops an egg. There's an egg. Okay. It's like Easter. We should have done that for Easter. Coop. I had originally thought if we had a... I just recently moved to a new apartment, and one of the ideas for a diversion was to do a, a oh. drunk Easter egg hunt where you get, like, slightly bigger eggs and you put, like, shots in them, and then we just go and, like, run around and find them. Nice. It didn't work out at the time frame. But I I never knew about this. No one ever told me. Well, I was just talking to Jamie about it. I would like originally this was also an idea for diversion, which was to like put say like you and Jamie or just like people who haven't played it before, uh -huh. and just like that'd be one of the things is go in, no help, and just go at it. How do I? Let's see, there's a fence there. There's a fence. Yeah, to go to the fence. I don't think Any gate. Yeah, I mean, I can see there's a fence. That's the problem. So I know here what you're going to do here is you cannot actually get milk from these cows. Instead, you need specifically a dairy cow. Okay. And the reason for that is you'll notice that there's a lot of players here because cows don't no, do... No, 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 okay. Cows don't do a lot of damage, but they have a lot of health. And you get XP based off how much damage you do. So you, you want to train on enemies that have high health, low defense, and don't hit back. So cows are perfect for that. Now the issue is people would have to come in to do quests and people would just be killing all the cows. They weren't able to get milk. Ooh, this one's fun. You have to uh, grind the wheat. Okay. A and don't go in the crop circle. Okay, it's gone. What? There's a crop circle there. What does that do? It teleports you to a mini game for the hunter skill where you run around and you catch imps with a butterfly net. Uh, so grain doesn't stack either, I assume? Nope. Okay. Most things in this game don't stack with each other, unless it's ammunition, or something that, like, literally doesn't matter. Okay. 
So, and that's just because it's how they control XP rates. Because there is one skill that does stack, and that's fletching, which you can use to make bows and arrows, particularly arrows. You can just literally can I buy carry more grain. Hmm? Why it says I can't carry any more grain. You, I think you're. Let me see this. I think you're. Uh, you scrolled up. Or something. No. Try it. I'm just not letting you pick up any more. There you go. You probably that. Okay. Their hit. Their click boxes are weird. So you have to grind that at the mill. Okay. Anyway, I was saying the way they control XP rates in this game is through stuff like how many things can you hold. So, and also just to encourage players to move around. Like I said before, like, a lot of times, like, it would make sense that they would build, like, a furnace right next to the ores that you mine, but that's never the case. They're usually in different cities. So, there is one, like I said, fletching, where you can just get, like, 10,000 arrowheads, and then you get 10,000, like, shafts and feathers, and those all stack. So then you can just literally stand in one spot, usually at the bank, and you just click them for hours. How... Do you know if there's a dairy cow? It has a bell on it, and it's tied down. I don't think there is there is one on this side of the river. You have to cross the other side. But you're going a little bit too far. Um, there's no... I can't... What about these rods? Oh, yeah, you can do that. Fuck you, Gary. That's an agility shortcut. I've never used it, because I, originally I wasn't high enough level. I assume I do. Boom. So one of these... Oh. What? <laughs> you have to click on the right stones. So it's like, you, I think you have to click on each individual one. Okay. So when the, one of your skills in this game is agility. And the higher your agility, the faster your run energy recharges. I don't know if you noticed, but like you can't actually run around the whole time. You're almost out. And also, it lets you get access to these shortcuts. So normally, like you'd have to walk all the way around. But because I have 71 agility, I think, you, you can just do it. Oh, wow, you're basically in Varrock. If you want to mine rocks. If I want to. Yeah. Do I want to? I don't to? think they have any purpose for you right now. Okay. They have tin, coal, not no, tin, clay, and iron here. But I think that'd be for a different episode. You need to go south. You're, if you actually click on the globe on the top right, there's another feature of OS Buddy. A little bit lower. Keep going. There you go. That's a globe? Yes. Okay. That is your world map. And if you see the circle, that is where Great you circle. are at. <laughs> that's a good point. <laughs> at mean, the bottom. You can click and drag. That's me? No. We'll that just one. Click, that one. Yeah, okay. click somewhere on the screen. You'll see it move. So you want to stay in Lumbridge. You wandered up to Varrock. Okay. Which is the capital of the kingdom you're in, I believe, if you want some lore. The lore is actually pretty cool. Not, I don't think a lot of people get into it. I mean, I, the only reason I know anything about it is just because I had to do all those quests and they ask you stuff like that. But it's kind of neat. I can't believe you don't have an axe yet, though. Oh, yeah. Shoot, you were supposed to grind the wheat while you are over there. Well, where's the mill? I, like, I didn't see it. It was, mill. like, right behind the wheat. Was it? Oh, well. Oh, well. I mean, you're going to come back around. Don't worry about it. You'll have to find your way back. How do you get more stamina? You, it recharges next to the world map. You see a little boot, and that's your run energy. Okay. And you can click it to run at any point, but it drains while you move. Kay. Makes sense? Okay. You can actually get a one of your armor you can get. It's called Graceful, and it makes it recharge 30% faster, and it's they have all have negative weight, and they make you lighter, so you don't use it as much. Can you fly? You cannot. What? You can... Isn't that how negative weight works? <laughs> like gravity waves? And That's a common jo not? joke. It's like, if you like, oh, if you drop it, does it just like float away? It's like a three but musketeers tears bar. What's implied, I assume, is like, they don't list your player's weight, like how heavy you are, and that make, it just makes you lighter somehow okay. through magic. Boom. What, is, what the fuck? He is trading his fire making skill. Okay. And in this game... When you make a fire, your character automatically steps, I believe, west. What? So what people will do is they'll just start in one spot, and they'll keep doing fire after fire, and it'll, it'll automatically walk you somewhere. Some people just like to watch the world burn. <laughs> fire making uh, is commonly known as a skill that has absolutely no use. Why? Because it really doesn't. Its only use is burning hey. logs, but you never hey. need to make a fire. Take axe. <laughs> Fuck yeah. There you go. You have to open the gate. You never really need to make a fire. And then its only other real use is 
as a light source, but all light sources are essentially the same. You don't have the inventory from God brain. It. So it's like, they're a little bit better, but for the most part, farming doesn't have a huge use to it like the other skills does. Like, agility. Oh, every level of agility matters because it's going to make you run farther. But fire making, it's like, other than for like quest requirements, you don't really have much need for it. Bronze dagger it is. Or where did I there it is. Go for it. I'm pretty sure you could kill everything barehanded. I don't care. I should kill it. I can kill everything, I should say. This is my account. Tr dairy churn. I assume that's to make butter. Yes. Uh, but that's a good sign that there's a dairy cow nearby. What is... I would assume that's... No, that's not a stove. There's actually no stoves. They're all listed as ranges in this game. What? They're, uh, it's a British game. I don't know where Jagex is located, what city. But there's uh, some small things. Like, they spell armor with a U in color and stuff. And you can, everyone in the game speaks with a British accent. Yeah. So I tell you, everything's voice acted <laughs> professionally. I was, was going to say, how do you know they speak with the accent? <laughs> I'm kidding. Huh? Oh, do you see it? Oh. I know like, I know where everything is, so I'm like, oh, there it goes. There, I see it. It's coming for you. It's coming for you, bitch. <laughs> Come on. It's weird watching you play, like how much you click, too. Like for me, I, I know my way around. Like there's a lot of places where the pathfinding is pretty damn good. So... You can just say like, "Oh, I want to go over there," and your character will just like walk. Yeah, yeah, the sque path. squeeze those cities. Oh yeah. Yeah. What do we got here? I remember there's actually one spot where there's like a maze you're supposed to do. It's just like a small thing, but it's actually possible for you to just click the end of the maze, and your character will huh. just path through it. Did you got your milk? Okay, I got my milk. I got my eggs. I still need to. You do need my grind the my flour. Meat. Yes. The flour. And then you need to mix them all and then cook it. When you say mix, what does that mean? You have to just mix them. You can you just click on the items. Okay, so you can just use them. Okay, yeah. So like, I don't have to like find. Do you know what's going to be entertaining? It is uh, you can burn the cake. I don't, I'm assume I'm high enough level. You probably won't, but. So it's a chance based thing, not a, I fucked up. It's a chance. Yes. Okay. And as you get a higher cooking level, you get less chance of that happening. Happening. And if you get high enough level, you can enter the cooking guild, which they required you wear a chef's hat. But they have like all the ingredients right there for you. Nice. So, can you be in it but not wear the chef's hat? You just can't do anything until you're there. Then you're like, oh, I'll put my hat on. I'm like, oh, I can yeah. Do it now. You just uh, you have to have the hat so that they open the door, and then that's it. You can walk in and immediately take it off. I think. I think it was really just to give it cooking hats to use because cooking hats, the chef's hat, they've been in the game for like ever, I think. Your run's fully recharged, you should turn it on. How do you. On the bottom right, the boot, just click the boot, yeah. So you want to go north. Colder. How do I. How do you know which. North says that way. You said go north. Well, north says that way. Yeah, but you move to the west. It's to your right. It was like straight up that path. There you go. This is okay. I see. Okay. What's interesting is they have a lot of like subtle things to like kind of combat combat bots, and one of them is you can't really notice it now, but I'll wait till you done with your dialogue. Oh, I should tell you that'd be great. Got it. Go outside. Well, you already have the grain. Oh, okay. Okay, got it. Hmm. It's interesting. Normally, NPCs aren't that helpful. I think because you're in Lumbridge and it's designed as a tutorial, they are a little bit better. But usually, like, when you talk to, like, just random characters, they just talk about whatever. It's actually kind of fun if you go out and explore some of the, like, the characters that will talk about things. It's really random. 
The hopper lover. Okay. It's hard to read some of this text. Yeah, it's like I said, it's not meant to be this wide and this far away. I'm surprised you haven't actually talked to any other players. I expected there's gonna be a lot of that. Like you're just gonna follow some guy and be like, "Tell me where how how I make cake." Fuck that. Or like, I was afraid someone was gonna. I mean, like, I don't ask for directions. I was afraid, like you're like, "How do I make make a cake?" And someone's like, "Oh well, here's all the ingredients." And I have to be like, "That doesn't count." Plus it's up two sets of ladders. It is. You're on the top floor. Oh, open hoppers. Okay. There. Operate. I'm sorry. Okay. And I. So this you have to use the use option. Okay. So that's one thing. That's it's not the consistent. Use grain. Okay. And now you have to use it on something. So, yeah, if you look on the top left again, see how it'll yeah, tell I was, you. I was, I was looking yeah. to see, like, what. Okay, boom. To be fair, like, uh, you don't usually do a lot of this stuff in the when you're normally playing. So the stuff where that's, like, the meat of your playtime is usually a lot more consistent on stuff like, does this have, like, an actual click option or not? There's already grain in the hopper. So, you can't. Fine. <sighs> If I could, I'd blow up the text, but there's no easy way for me to do that. Okay. So it says you operate the hopper, the grain slides down the chute. Right, so it's going to be down there. Yes. So I can now... So you have to go get it. Can I put more in and just acquire all I No, I don't think so. That's... Okay. I mean, in theory, if this was an important part of the game where you were con like constantly grinding your own flour... Then they would, but really, they've—it's easy enough to just buy flour. You don't have to make it. But this is something where, if you're an Iron Man, like we were talking before, where you can't trade with players, a lot of the stuff like this is something you would have to do, just because it's the only way you're going to get it. To be fair, though, I don't think they have to do this specifically because they can—they're shops that sell flour, and you don't really cook a lot of cakes. Usually, the go-to healing item is fish. Just for whatever reason. Yeah, these sound effects are making me like really nostalgic. I haven't heard like those little like tinks for a long time. Come down, bitch. So there you go. Is that gonna be enough flour? Yeah, you only need one. Well, I got two. Well, if you burn the cake, you'll be okay. Where's the flour display? Yes. It's in the pot. Oh, they're in the pots. Oh, so it's, they got to get rid of those pots. Yeah, I was actually debating that. Yeah, I was actually uh, like, I was going to tell you that. I think you do need water. Nope. Otherwise, you can mix the cake right here. The can I fill the jug in the river? No. You have to go to actual water sources. You'll want to go back to that kitchen at the beginning. Okay. The easiest way to do that is if you click your magic tab, which is the little book. You have a free teleport every 30 minutes to that spot. So it's going to go. Usually teleport's faster, but this is your, like, if you go and get lost or stuck, this is your, like, your get out of jail free card. But they don't want you doing it, like, during combat, so that's why it's like, oh, you sit and you, like, pull out your little book. It's kind of like in, uh, it's like backing in, like, Dota or League of Legends or, yeah, uh, Smite, I guess. You could put it. Yes. And to be fair, like, I don't hang out in Lumbridge a lot, so it's not a extremely useful spell. But another thing that's really important to the game is transportation. There's no horses, which is... <laughs> people have been asking for horses since the game started. But instead, you'll have stuff like teleports that will take you to a specific city or a specific spot. So, training your magic's really important like that. I'm hoping it's not going to make you, like, actually have a... A bucket of water. Well, I have a jug of water. I know, but sometimes it's it needs to be a bucket. Okay. Then I can go to skill and I'll go cooking and cakes. 
how do you do? You just mix them. All right. Uh, you use them on each other. I like seeing okay. you like, I'm trying to figure out like, oh, you're on the outside. I'm trying to figure out like how much information is too much. Cause I don't, I don't want you sitting here and looking like, how do I even figure out how to make a cake? But I don't want to be like, oh, go you said, here. You said nothing milk. interesting happens. Does that mean it didn't work? What do you, what do you use? I, I put flour in the egg. You have to use it on the cake tin. Right. Which is, is that what I think? No, that's a bowl. No, which, that's the cake tin. Right. I got that. Okay. You now have cake mix. Okay. I need the egg now. Or do you use the egg? It use the egg. You have yeah, flour, egg together, blah, 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 blah. Okay, now I need a heat source, right? Yes, yeah, so you need specifically an oven. Or a range, which is right there, which is why I said come back here. It? Yes. Okay. That's another reason uh, fire making is not great, is you can't, like, cook anything on a fire besides raw meat. Why you don't they, have to actually use it, I why believe. Why do they call it a range? A range is just the top. And you made a cake. Do I? Oh. Oh. Whoa. Got it. All right. So what do you what do you think? Is it very intuitive? I mean, yeah. Just figuring. I mean, everything else aside, yes. Oh, yeah. The main game is a little more consistent. And it is a lot easier when you have a wiki. Or, like, if you were training cooking, you would just go to the GE, you'd buy, like, 600 eggs, 600 flower pots, and 600, what, milk things. And then you just make them all once. I like that little motion, yeah, there. Do that again. Make them all once. I, I, well, we're not doing face cam, so let's do, I'll, I'll do whatever I want. It was amazing. I did a backflip. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. What are your thoughts? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Uh. You want to, here, if you go to those double doors. Double doors? In the front of the building. These ones? Yeah. We can do a little, you can wave goodbye. <laughs> oh, so just stand stand on the top of the steps. Make this fun. Uh, no, there it is. <laughs> here, I got, I got it. So tell me what you thought. I, fun. <laughs> I mean. It was interesting to watch for me, just like seeing like all your... Everything just like turning in your head. We'll get up nice and close. Boom. Anything you want to say? Will you, are you up for some more challenges? I think I got a couple. I want to see you like right now. Or? No, later. Okay. We could do uh, some hardcore yeah. combat. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. If this takes off. I think this has some potential. Kill every bitch. <laughs> yeah. Kill, kill every. Actually, that was one of the series I thought about doing. Is something like I'm gonna eat every food in the game, or I'm gonna kill every NPC, and, and that's gonna be my quest. If and the bitches I don't kill, can I slay? There is actually a slayer skill. You use it on women. <laughs> I'm kidding. There is a slayer like, skill. Like, as I said, like, I can't tell if you're joking right now. or, or There not. is a slayer skill, though. It's uh, this one. And it's for like, killing like unique monsters that can only be killed in like specific ways. It's kind of cool. Happy dragon slayer. It's one of my favorite. Oh, there is. There's a dragon slayer quest. Nice. We'll get to that in, in the future episodes, though. Can I, can I be called Natsu? Hmm? No, no, never mind. Uh, all right. <laughs> Bye.